look away. Don't turn your back and don't blink. But what's that thing going to do to us, Doctor? What's it going to do? Most probably send us back to a time zone further back so we live. But we live in the past so we die quicker. People call the weeping angels of the lonely assassins. I see why. But Doctor, who's looking at the angel? If you're looking at me, and I'm looking at you. Good point. Keep looking. Just keep looking. And when I say run, run. But run backwards. So the angel can't move. Right, ready, run. All right. Right. Wherever you are, whoever you are, I'm going to get you back for what you've done to my Caroline. Now where are you? Where are you? Come out. Show yourselves. Show yourselves. Show yourselves, you evil fiends. Come on. Come on, where are you? <sighs> it's that one. It's that one that got my wife. The damaged one. <gasps> Move slowly back at that city, Imogen. Nice and slow. Nice and slowly. Right, Dr. Bowles is going to help us. That angel's going to get us. What? You're running from the angels too? <laughs> I can't look at you because that's how they got my wife, but I know you're behind me. Yes, when I'm the Doctor and Mrs. Catherine, we're also running from a batch of angels. So this one behind us is the... Oh, great, Doctor, one behind us and one coming straight for us. We're not going to be able to move for disasters, are we? No. Is this what it's always like with you? Yes. And it's pretty exciting, but also rather terrifying. I don't know how you... I just do the best I can. Doctor, it's come close, but how come? Did you blink? I may have blinked once or twice, but I saw you blink too. Oh no. Try not to blink, that's the trick. Yes, we know that, thank you. We've been doing that for a... But I can't keep my eyes shut either. Hold on a minute, be silent. Hold on a minute, these weeping angels. They're a bit like the Cybermen, they're a rogue. They're a rogue, yes. These are rogue weeping angels. That do not have the basic intelligence that the others have. They're not, they're not as clever as them. Therefore, they can easily be tricked. Yes, I've got the perfect idea. Doctor, what sort of idea? A perfect one. Now just listen. You behind, are you listening? Yes, of course I'm listening. Good. Right. On the count of three, everybody duck. What? Just do it. One, two, three. Now duck. They're frozen. Doctor, you did it. Yes, you did it, Doctor. Of course I did. I knew what I was doing all along. I knew that would stop them. I knew they were rogues. And I knew that if I could convince them 
that all that was on the other side was a weeping angel. They'd be staring each other into space. But I think we better get out of here very quickly and blow up this building before it's too late. And how are you going to blow up this building? The TARDIS doesn't have missiles. No, I know. But I'm hoping Richard will be able to convince the military to. What, Richard? How did you know his name? A clever little... Yes, I should be able to, Doctor. I will try and contact the military right now. But, uh... I hope to see you again sometime very soon. Yes, I'm sure you will, Richard. Now keep safe and be careful of this building and don't let anybody come here, not anybody, ever again. Please. I won't, Doctor, I promise. Now it's time to send you home, my dear. Home? But I don't want to go home. I want to stay here with you. Well, I suppose one trip in the TARDIS can't help. Can it? What? You mean I can stay? Of course, but one trip, mine, that's all. Oh, thanks.